everybody. Today I'm going to explain the problem F from the code for this round 629 division 3. We are asked to find the minimum number of moves required to obtain at least k equal elements in the array. And one move consists in either incrementing the minimum number in the array or decrementing the maximum number in the array. First uh, of all, we can check if there are already k numbers equal, and this can be done by sorting, and check if for some position i, the value from the position i plus k minus 1 is equal. Now, let's assume we don't have already k equal elements in the array. What we have to do? First of all, we need to sort the array, because it will make our life easier. So we have the array from the first example, and it's going to look like that. Now, let's try to fix one element to be the element we are going to make numbers equal to it. And prove why this works. Let's say we fix the element, and we have three cases. Case 1, we either bring all the elements from the left part to be equal to vi minus 1. Why to vi minus 1? Because we may not need to bring them all to be equal to vi. So we need to firstly bring them all to vi minus 1 and then bring some of them to vi. Basically, if we are going to use prefix sums in order to compute these sums, we are going to have the following cost sp of i minus 1, where sp is the prefix sum array, actually minus sp of i minus 1 plus i minus 1 multiplied by vi minus 1. This will be the cost in order to bring all the elements from the left part to be equal to vi minus 1. And if we have enough numbers, like in this case, we have the segment uh, with length 3. If we have at least two numbers in the left side, we are going to add k minus a counter, which uh, represents the number of elements in our segment. Why are we fixing a segment and not just a single number? Because uh, since the elements are equal, it's more optimal to think it like that. And it's also easier to find the case work. So this is for all elements from the left. For all elements from the right, the case work is going to be similar. We are going to bring them all to vi plus 1. And the number of moves necessary will be this time sp of n minus sp of i plus counter minus 1, from which we are going to drop uh, n minus i plus counter minus 1. Actually, i plus counter uh, multiplied by vi plus plus one. The formula is similar, and uh, it basically helps us to bring them all to vi plus one. And also, in this case, we are going to add k plus counter. Assuming we have at least a k minus number. Assuming we have enough numbers to bring uh, them all. Now, what if we don't have enough numbers in either left or the right side? We can just add this up and this up. And I add k minus number just once. 
Why does this work? Because we are going to bring all the elements to be next to vi, like either to be equal to vi minus 1 or be equal to vi plus 1. And then we are going to bring only enough numbers in order to make them equal to vi. Now let's move on to the proof. Why does this work? This works because uh, we can reduce the proof for the solution of this problem to the proof for y in a sorted array. Let's say you have something like this. And we want to make all the elements equal. It's optimal to always bring them to the median value in the array. The median value in the array is the value such that if we sort the array, it's going to be on the uh, half position. Like if we have six positions, it's going to be on the position three. The proof is similar and it can be read in Corman. Now, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope I won't get hacked in order to actually say that my solution is correct and until the next time, stay healthy, stay safe and good luck. Bye.